Honda S2000 silver with the red interior let's get into it there were already several audio components installed in the vehicle but I knew I'd be able to troubleshoot and figure out what was going on if I was able to get a look at it this is the process checking between power and ground and amp there's nothing there And amp ground to capacitor power, still nothing. But capacitor ground and chassis ground, that zeroed out properly. That's solid. That's the LED strip. I really did think that these had a suicide head, but apparently not. Oh yeah, right here I encountered the first problem. This fuse holder is damaged and held together by black tape. Wow, that feels really just popped right out of there. Might still be good though. The meter shows that the battery's good, 12 and a half volts. What about the fuse? Next, I'll check the power supply wire. Make sure that it's not pinched or cut, damaged in any way. That would always pop a fuse. The wire seems to be pretty good. That's not the problem. That's not the problem. Um. 
so let's cut it off. Twelve volt, twelve volt. So I can verify I've got power, I've got ground, and I've got remote turn on. Yeah, that amp is toast. Toast. Alright, let's see. Let's pop that guy out, that guy out. So our remote on this one's red. guys fried out so it looks like the white one the black one is the front these are the rear all right I mean those are pretty nice amps but this one doesn't work and in its place we've got an alliance brand new fortune technology I feel like this one's gonna be a lot nicer and see we can bridge that rear channel for this subwoofer let's see if we can find the sub wire this car looks like a wiring mess but I've definitely seen worse than this I'm just going to sort it out and get the wires that aren't being used out of the trunk. Let's kind of take out what doesn't need to be in here. Like this. That doesn't need to be in here. That doesn't. That doesn't.
with the extra wire sorted and out of the way, it's time to check the subwoofer. Alright, so this subwoofer is literally just on two by fours. It's a single voice coil. It fits down in there pretty nice, so I think we can make something happen with this. Right here, feeling like the speaker sounds like it's behind this panel. itself is here and it seems to have its wire snatched off this area absolutely sucks to work in wow not connected to anything oh it's hot today I'll just terminate some speaker wire and then run that back to the amplifier Sometimes if the crimp terminals don't fit tight enough, you can just squeeze them a little bit more with the pliers. Yeah, that's a pretty easy solution. Just make sure you don't squeeze them too tight, otherwise they'll be difficult to get back on. doesn't Definitely one in there. 
adding and connecting wires to those speakers behind the seats did fix them. I still have no sound from the speakers in the front doors. The sound of the other door wasn't too tough. Let's see, this one shouldn't be bad either. already. Maybe I'll start with this. Look at this. Oh yeah, that's why that speaker's not working. Corrosion. The wire came disconnected from corrosion. It's been damaged. The only thing we can do is cut off these terminals and put new ones on. There you go. Try to get most of that corrosion out of there. Let's, uh... Hold it on here. It's so hot out here. This thing I want to stick. Ugh. It's been one around.
Now that's the level of tightness that that handle needs to be. about to take a break. And it is raining now. After some cleanup and wire management, this is the before and after.